in lesson number 1 under the chapter hardware we have now finished uh, pres the presentation we finished and then we also completed questions based on textbook content okay i hope you have finished it and i do hope you have also uploaded your answers back over here uh, so then we have just two more things to go in this particular in this chapter which is the worksheet and the quiz so i will be helping you out with the worksheet i'll be explaining to you the answers and various other answers that can come the quiz is something you'll have to do on your own and upload the answers back over here so let's open the worksheet okay and uh, let's download the worksheet so open in new window and uh, let's click on download and then let's click on open and show in okay let's click on open when done so uh, this particular worksheet is uh, let me explain to you it is past paper uh, it's it's questions from the past papers 2011 to 2014 and these are questions from 2011-2014 which are uh, related to chapter number chapter one hardware okay so uh, let's get started the first question goes as which one of these is an output device so you do know scanner converts a hard copy into a soft copy okay so it's an input device microphone records the user's voice okay so it takes the voice from the microphone and sends it to the computer so it's an input device the speaker it puts something out it puts sound out so the speaker is an output device okay so the answer is going to be c then when you come on to the next question it says a bank uses a variety of computer systems customer accounts are stored on so we're talking about a bank which means many people are going to be using it at the same time so a personal computer would not be powerful enough an embedded computer an embedded computer is a computer which is made for one specific task so it too cannot be the answer a mainframe computer yes a mainframe computer is a very powerful computer which can handle many users at the same time so once again the answer is going to be c yes moving on to the next one you may be wondering why these questions are not numbered properly because these are just questions i have taken from past papers from 2011 to 2014 so the numbers are not you know in order then moving on to the next question it says the most appropriate input device for freehand drawing is so the best answer would be a graphics tablet so i have told you a graphics tablet is a kind of a tablet you connect it to your computer okay and then whatever you draw on the tablet you'll be having a stylus with it whatever you draw on the tablet will automatically appear on your monitor as well so for those who want to do drawings those who want to do architectural designs the best is to use a graphics tablet okay so the answer is a okay then moving to the next one it says an input device needed to control the humidity in a greenhouse is yes we're talking about an input device so the best answer is sensor so what does the sensor do it would detect the temperature and then it would inform the control device to do something okay so since they say input device we have to go with sensor had they said output device we can go with control device okay so the answer is <coughs> a uh, moving on to the next one it says goods sold in a supermarket have a barcode which piece of information is provided by the barcode okay so when you scan i mean what information does the barcode give it's not item price item price comes after the barcode has been scanned date of manufacture no it is the item number the barcode consists of the item number so the answer is c next one it says a supermarket uses an epoch system which is an electronic point of sale so we are basically talking about the cashiers at supermarkets okay they are the the entire transaction is done electronically okay they use a computer to process your payment so we call it an electronic point of sale one benefit to a supermarket of using an epo system is that customers must pay by bank card no customers can pay by cash even if they want scanning reduces the amount of theft no then goods cannot exceed sell by date no sometimes you can also by mistakenly purchase an expired product okay stock levels are instantly updated yes okay so if none of these three answers are correct then it obviously has to be the final answer but let me tell you as soon as the computer gets the barcode and the button is pressed that the customer has purchased it immediately the stock levels are updated okay for example if a person has bought five 
uh, cakes of soap immediately in the database uh, the number of soap is reduced by five okay so stock levels are instantly updated when you use an electronic point of sale over here it says the data capture forms can be used to input data to a computer diagram one and diagram two so we have two diagrams uh, show two types of data capture form in the space provided below each diagram write the name of the device that would be used to read this data so if you look over here you can see black dots are there and there is a machine which reads the black marks or the black dots which we call optical mark reader okay so the device we use is optical mark reader short form is omr okay this particular device reads the black dots on a piece of paper okay then over here you can see text has been written and we need a device to read this text okay so putting a scanner is not a good idea a scanner would just simply convert a soft hard copy into a soft copy we need one extra function we need it to also read the text on this paper so we do use something which we call optical optical character reader okay so an optical character reader would also be able to read the text on this paper then it goes on to say give two advantages of inputting data using these devices optical character reader and optical mark reader uh, rather than entering the data manually okay so they are asking what are the benefits of using a machine to enter this data rather than a human typing it into the computer so obviously the first answer you can say you can say data can be input at a much faster rate okay obviously if a machine is entering the data it's going to be much faster than a human entering it another answer you can say is accuracy of the data input would be very high okay if a human was to type it there is a possibility there is going to be a sort of mistakes okay as humans we do make mistakes but if it's a machine very 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 rare there will be any mistake in it okay so the accuracy of the data input would be very high okay we can also go into speak that labor cost can be reduced okay because the machine it will be input, inputting the data into the computer so labor cost can be reduced uh, you can also say one more thing the customer who fills this form is responsible for the accuracy of this data okay since a few, since there is nobody typing in this data into the computer it's the customer who fills this form and the machine enters the data into the computer so it is up to the customer to make sure that his handwriting is neat that he marks these circles properly so you can say the customer is responsible for the accuracy of the data moving on to the next page again we have a bunch of mcqs a graphics tablet is a type of input device yes okay whatever you draw or whatever you tie uh, what you what, whatever you uh, what do you call it? touch on the graphics tablet is an input to your computer okay so this is an input device answer is a the third one we are speaking about an international airline stores customer information this information would be held on them okay so embedded computer i told you it's a computer which does a specific task a pc is not powerful enough a laptop is not powerful enough has to be a mainframe computer then a customer uses a bank card to pay for goods at a supermarket checkout where on the card is the customer's electronic data stored okay so the answer is going to be microchip okay so we have learned there are three things that a credit card or debit card can have to store customer information one is microchip second thing that we learned was magnetic stripe and the third that thing that we learned is something which we call RFID or NFC radio frequency identification or near field communication okay then the next one goes on to say a user gains access to a secure area by placing their finger on a scanner this type of scanner is known as biometric okay so i told you the scanner which scans a human's unique characteristics like finger iris voice retina thumb okay it's known as a biometric scanner so the answer is a goes on to say barcode scanners are used in supermarkets one benefit of using a barcode scanner is that fewer goods are stolen no correct balance or change is always given no 
customers can be served more quickly? Yes, definitely. Instead of the cashier typing the barcode, the barcode scanner just scans the barcode and the product is identified. It takes maximum a second. Okay, so definitely customers can be served more quickly. Answer is C. Okay, so if you do notice, a few questions are kind of repeating. Okay, so that's what happens as we pass paper. A few questions, they just change a few words in the question, but almost the same question repeats every year. Okay, so uh, identify one device that can be used for both input and visual output. Okay, so a device that can be used for input and visual, something you can see as your output. So your best answer would be touch screen. Many students do write a web camera over there, which is wrong. A web camera is only an input device. What does a web camera do? It only takes your image. It is the monitor that displays your image. Okay, so the answer webcam cannot come over here. You can write touch screen. You can also write graphics tablet if you want, because certain graphics tablet has their own inbuilt screen. Okay, but the best answer would always be touch screen. Okay. Jonas has selected a high resolution monitor. So we have learned what high resolution monitor is. We have told you the higher the resolution, the more number of pixels, the more number of pixels, the clearer the image is going to appear. Okay. So identify another item of hardware that would enhance. Enhance means improve the viewing experience. So he has got a very good monitor, but what else would he need in order to you know improve the viewing experience? Okay. So he would also require a graphics card, okay? Having a good monitor is not enough. You also need to have a good graphics card to support the quality of the images to be displayed, okay? Or the images, videos as well. <clears throat> so it goes on to say Super Spa is a small health club in London, UK. Uh, the temperature in the club is maintained between 18 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius using an air conditioning system. Identify one input device used to measure temperature. So, one input device that can be used to measure temperature. Uh, I think a good answer would be a thermometer. Okay, you can use a thermometer to measure thermometer. Okay, so thermometer basically measures the temperature and informs the computer, and then the computer will. Uh, from the control device to take an action. Okay, so a good answer over here would be a thermometer. Then it goes on to say, next one, which one of these devices can be used for both data input and output? So once again, it's going to be a touch screen. Okay, a tracker ball is a kind of is a is a is a pointing device. It's input. A mouse is an output device. Uh, sorry, a mouse is also an input device. A speaker is an output device. Which one of these can be used to produce a hard copy of a drawing? A hard copy of a drawing. So it cannot be monitor, it cannot be projector, it cannot be a scanner. The best answer is a plotter. So I told you a plotter is used to print large graphics, architectural drawings, banners, posters. Okay, so we are talking about producing a hard copy. So the answer is plotter. A scanner, on the other hand, does the opposite. It converts a hard copy into a soft copy. A multinational bank keeps details of customer accounts on a computer. Bank staff and customers can access the accounts. The type of computer the bank uses is, so we're talking about a multinational bank. So a tablet is not powerful enough. A standalone computer means a computer which is not connected to the internet. So that cannot be possible, otherwise customers cannot access it. A PC is a personal computer. Computer, it's not powerful enough, so the answer is going to be a mainframe computer. Moving on, it says Sabir uses a PC for a range of administrative tasks. He wants to produce a letter. Identify the most appropriate type of software to use. So, this particular question we have not yet learned. We'll be learning in chapter number two. I'll just give you the answer over here to produce a letter. The most appropriate type of software we can use is word processing software. Okay, identify one input device that Sabir could use. So to produce a letter, one input device he could use, he could use a keyboard, type the text. Then one in output device that Sabir could use. So once you make a letter, you normally want to print it. So you can talk about a printer, you can talk about a monitor, okay, so that he can see what he is typing, okay. 
then it goes on to say a large supermarket has several electronic point of sale terminals linked to a computer <coughs> each pro <coughs> each product for sale has a barcode on it the barcode is made up of a pattern of bars okay identify the type of device used to input data from the barcode so data from the barcode is sent to the computer using a barcode scan okay <coughs> identify what the patterns of bars represent okay so those bars what do they represent they represent the product number okay then it goes on to ask give two benefits to the customer when barcodes are used so when you use barcodes you can always say uh, they are think benefits to the customer so you can say customers can be served quickly okay then you can also go on to say uh, customers will have no mistakes made in their bill okay so when the information is input using a barcode scanner is very very rarely there ever be a mistake okay so customers will have no mistakes made in their bill they don't have to come back again to the supermarket to correct their bill or anything okay so these are two benefits uh, when barcodes are used at the checkout you can also say customers will not have to stay for long in queues Okay, that's another possible answer. Supermarket customers can pay for their goods using bank cards. Identify the additional hardware that is needed at the checkout to process their payments. So, uh, the additional hardware that is needed at the checkout to process their payments. So, when customers pay, uh, what are you calling customers <coughs> pay using a card, you would be requiring a card reader. Okay. Then it goes on to say electronic data on a bank card can be stored on a microchip or a magnetic stripe. Describe two reasons why storing data on a microchip is preferable to storing data on a magnetic stripe. So they're asking why is this method better than this method. So we did learn in our chapter that data in a microchip can be read and updated much faster than a magnetic stripe that's one answer uh, second one you can say is microchips are less prone to damages than magnetic stripe okay you can just go on to further say a small scratch in the magnetic stripe can make the data in the card unreadable okay so a small scratch over here and the data will not be readable okay but here very rarely any damage can take place it's less prone to damages okay you can also say this has a higher level of security than magnetic stripe okay so those are possible answers also microchips can hold more data than a magnetic stripe okay that's another possible answer then it goes on to say the company must decide on the most appropriate type of printers to buy here. The consultant suggests that the company buys a laser printer and an inject printer. For each type of printer, we are supposed to give a brief description of how it produces a printout, a benefit to the company and a drawback to the company. So we did learn how does a laser printer, how it produces the printout. So you can say the printing area on the paper is electronically charged electronically charged we did learn that and then the ink is fused onto the electrically electrically charged area okay so we did learn in a laser printer the printing area is electronically charged and then the ink is fused onto the charged area so a benefit of a laser printer we can always say the running running cost is low okay it's very low the running cost is low a drawback you can say the purchasing cost purchasing cost is high okay when it comes to inject printer once again the same thing happens the printing area on the paper is electronically charged but then there's a small change that takes place There's a small change that takes place which is that and then 
the ink is spread okay ink gets spread onto the elect onto the electrically charged area okay that's what happens benefit of using an inkjet printer we do know that the purchasing cost is low drawback is you can say the running cost is low or you can even go on to say print out may appear smudged okay because since the ink is spread under the paper as soon as the paper comes out and you touch it you can smudge the ink on it the quality is not as good as a laser printer okay the running cost is high okay these are various answers you can be writing okay then again we have a few multiple choice questions which one of these is a portable device portable device means which can be carried around so supercomputer it cannot be a personal computer we do not know what they are talking about a personal computer can be a laptop can be a desktop can be a tablet can be a mobile phone so when they just say pc we do not know which one it is a laptop yes it is a portable device so we can write answer c which one of these is an appropriate output device for a slide show so to show a slide show the best would be a projector data projector moving on an air conditioning system is used in a school the device used to measure the temperature is a type of it cannot be a scanner it cannot be a plotter it cannot be a monitor the answer is sensor the type it's a they are asking used to measure the temperature is a type of okay so it will be a sensor moving on to a cooling fan is automatically turned down when the temperature in a room goes above a pre set temperature the type of system used to turn the cooling fan on is a modeling system no control system yes so we did i did teach you control devices are output devices they make something happen in the physical world okay so a control system will be having control devices inside them okay so what does this control system do automatically is it, it automatically switches on a cooling fan when the temperature goes above a particular temperature then it goes on our final question it goes on to say supermarket customers can pay for goods using bank cards which one of these devices is used to read electronic data from a bank card so a barcode scanner no you can't read a credit card using a barcode scanner optical character reader no biometric scanner no so the answer is going to be a chip and pin reader answer b okay so once you're done with this make sure you save your work and make sure you go back into the classroom uh, come over here and make sure you upload your work you can click on the add or create button come to file then locate your file from uh, downloads i believe and click on open upload it and uh, do not forget once it has uploaded and saved do not forget to uh, click the turn in button so that i'll be able to check the work you have completed and give you uh, feedback okay this paper will not be marked it's just a worksheet okay so i'll be just checking it and giving you any feedback if there is but do remember do remember that you do have a quiz something which marks will be given for you something which i'll be checking your answers on which is this document the quiz of chapter 1 so make sure you do this as it says this quiz should be done entirely on your own if you look over here okay should be done entirely on your try to on your try to do it on your own as much as possible okay try and answer these questions okay after you download the document try to answer these questions and then upload it back into the classroom where yeah, i will be able to check your answers give you a grading and give you feedback on your work okay thank you very much